hi and welcome to uh, kindergarten math lesson number four today we're going to be looking at story problems and deciding whether we need to um, add or subtract which would be putting together or taking away to solve those problems we're also going to be looking at number bonds that go with our story so here my sign Okay, so we are going to work through a few story problems together and um, I want you to imagine it in your head. If you want to get a piece of paper and a pencil or a crayon, anything to write with, you can draw a picture um, as I draw them too. If I am ever going too fast, you can press the pause button, catch up to me, and then um, hit play again when you're ready to move on. So I want you to imagine the story in your head first. Brooke and Damien are selling lemonade. They had 10 cups, but gave six cups away to their customers. How many cups are left? We're gonna draw a picture of what happened in the story. Brooke and Damien are selling lemonade. They had 10 cups. We gave six cups away to customers. How many cups are left? So let's start at the beginning. Brooke and Damien are selling lemonade. I could draw a picture of Brooke and Damien, but I don't really need to. They had 10 cups. Let me draw 10 cups of lemonade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine and ten cups of lemonade. But then it said the next thing is, is they gave six cups away to customers. So it says they gave six cups away. Do you think I'm going to be drawing more lemonades? No. I have to show that six cups, six of these cups were taken away. I think I could probably cross them out to show that. So I'm going to cross out how many cups were taken away? Six. Let's cross out six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six cups were taken away. Okay. My question was how many cups are left? Well, these cups have been taken away. So let's figure that out by counting up how many cups are left. How many cups are left? There are four cups of lemonade left. Now, I've drawn my picture to find my answer. I know my answer is four. But now, it's really important to come up with an equation or number sentence that matches my story. So how many cups of lemonade did we start with in the beginning of the story? Ten. And then we took away six cups. Six cups were given away. Do we remember what sign means take away? Plus means put together. And then minus means take away. So we're going to go minus. Ten minus ten. And then I took away. How many did I take away? Not how many are left. How many were taken away? How many were given away to customers? So I had 10, and then we gave away or took away 6. And that equals, my answer is what? How many cups were left? How many cups were left? 4. Okay. 10 minus 6 equals 4. 10 cups of lemonade. And then we gave away 6 of those cups means that four are left. That's what this equation is telling us. So another way we can show that is in a number bond. And you guys were, you guys are, and we're doing really, really well at number bonds before we left school. So what is our largest number in this problem? How many cups were there total? What was our big number? Our number was 10. We had 10 cups total. And then there are two different numbers in this equation that make up 10. Okay. We have the cups that were sold to customers. And then we have the cups that were left. 
So how many cups were sold to customers? There were six that were sold. Remember, these are six. And then how many were left? Four. So if we take those six cups that we sold and those four cups that were left, six and four make 10. We had 10 cups total at the beginning, right? Every equation shows us a number. Very cool. So this was a takeaway problem. Remember, we have to be really careful that we're drawing what happens. So here's my next row. I've already drawn the first step. Here are two chickens in a coop. The first chicken lays four eggs. Here are my four eggs. One, two, three, four. And the second chicken lays three eggs. I'm going a little bit faster in this one. I picked the four eggs, and then the second chicken laid three eggs. My question says, how many eggs are in the coop? This problem's really different. Did anything get taken away? We had two different chickens that laid two different groups of eggs. Here's one group, here's the second group, group number two. And it's asking us how many eggs are in the coop now. So it's asking us to actually put these eggs together, I think. Let's see. Let's write our number sentence. So first, when we put these eggs together, how many do you think we have? We're putting this group of eggs and this group of eggs together to discover how many are in the coop. There are seven, there are seven eggs. So let's write a number sentence to go with this problem. This problem is gonna be different, right? Because we didn't take anything away. None of the eggs cracked, none of the eggs rolled away, okay? We put two groups, so a group of four and a group of three together. So how many eggs did the first chicken lay? Four. Then did we take any away or did something happen to any of them or did we get more eggs from the other chicken? We got more eggs from the other chicken, so we are actually joining two groups. We're gonna use our plus sign. Four plus, how many chickens? How many eggs did the second chicken lay? Three. Four eggs plus three more eggs equals, you guys already told us, seven eggs. Four plus three equals seven or seven eggs. Now I want to see if you guys can discover the number bond for this. So we have a big number right here, and then the two parts, the two pieces that make up that big number. So what's the biggest number in our story? This time, out of four, three, six, seven. Seven's our biggest number. What are the two parts that make up seven? Four and three. Four and three. Four and three put together make seven. Very good, guys. Now, there are, we have, we have two more. You guys can do this. There are five pieces of pie. Three pieces are eaten. eaten. How many pieces of pie are left? Let me draw a picture of that. Said there were five pieces of pie. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Three pieces were eaten. So how can I show that three of these pieces were eaten? Am I going to draw more pie? No, I'm not going to draw more pie because it didn't say three more pieces of pie showed up. It shows that three of these, these pieces of pie got eaten. So let's, let me cross it. So that we know those pieces of pie are gone. They have been eaten. How many pieces of pie are left? You tell me, look, how many pieces of pie are left? Two, two pieces of pie are left. So now we have to write that number sentence that goes with it. How many pieces of pie did we start out with at the beginning of the story? Five. 
And then what happened to these pieces of pie? They got eaten. So do you think we're going to use plus, which means put together, or minus, which means take away? We're going to use minus. Minus means take away. So we had five pieces of pie, and then we took away three because they were eaten. They were already gone. So five take away. How many pieces got eaten? How many pieces did we take away? Three. Five minus three equals, our answer is two, two pieces of pie. So see if you can figure out this number five. Remember, the biggest number, these two pieces connect. These are two pieces that see the lines where it shows they connect to the larger number. So in this problem, what's the biggest number? Five, we started out with five. Five was our biggest number out of all of these. We had five pieces of pie. And then three got eaten and two were left. So what two numbers, what two parts make up five? The three eaten slices and the two slices that were left. Three and two make five. Or five, when you take away three, all that's left is two. Very good, guys. Last one. Mia and Brooke are picking up seashells. Mia picks up seven seashells. And Brooke picks up four seashells. They put their seashells in the red bucket. How many seashells are in that bucket? So think about that. Mia picks up some seashells. And Brooke picks up some seashells. They put both of their seashells into a bucket. How many seashells are in that bucket? So think about as we go through, are we going to be taking things away? Or are we putting all the seashells together? Let's see. I'm going to start at the beginning. It said Mia picked up seven seashells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven seashells. Good. And Brooke picks up four. Four seashells. Now, did anything get taken away? No, I got Mia seashells and Brooke seashells because they put them together in a bucket, right? Now, how many seashells are there in that bucket? This is Mia and Brooke's. Count them up. Eleven. That's a big number. Eleven. This is how I wrote eleven. One in the tens place and one in the ones place. Eleven. Two ones. So now we have to come up with our um, number sentence again. So how many seashells did we start out with? We have picked up seven with these seven books. And then did I take anything away or did I put it together? I put Mia's shells together with Brooks. So what symbol do you think we're going to use? Are we going to use the plus sign or the takeaway sign? Minus. We're going to use the plus sign. We put those seashells together. We put Mia's seven seashells together with Brooks. How many seashells did Brooke have? Four. Brooke had four. Seven plus four equals Last thing we're going to do is that number bond. So remember, our biggest number, our total, always goes at the top. And then the other two numbers are the parts that make up the total. So what was the largest number in this equation? What was the largest number? 11. 11 was the most we had. And we know that Mia had 7 and Brooke had 4. And when we put these two numbers together, it made 11. Great job. Seven and four are two parts that make the whole 11. You guys did a great job with that. Thank you for following along. I will upload this to the Merrick More page as well and attach an activity.